Welcome to another Parent Teacher Video Lesson from the EarlyGiftedManual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 38, Algebra Lesson 1. And the materials you will need for this lesson are uh, pencil and paper and of course a whiteboard if you want to add that in, it's up to you. Uh, the mystery box, and uh, the, of course the mystery box at this point needs no introduction. And uh, uh, some pennies. As you can see, I have a little bank here full of pennies. I'm going to use eight in this lesson. Uh, you could use uh, ten or less, let's just say that. So uh, a bank of eight pennies. So let me move this out of the way. We're going to do this in the second part of this lesson one. And just work with the paper and the, the pencil here. So uh, when you tell your child, well, we're going to be doing algebra, she might say, well, what is that? And you could tell her, well, algebra is, is a math, a type of math or, or a, a number computation that you will do uh, after you really, really know addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And it's a very useful and uh, very challenging kind of math. And uh, you could tell her that um, right now in this lesson, we're going to take the first step in learning algebra, and it's called finding missing numbers. And that will suffice for now. You could get into all sorts of complicated uh, uh, definitions of algebra, but you really don't want to do that at this point. All right, when's a, when's a good time to start uh, doing algebra with your child to, to do this lesson? Well, after he has... Uh, shown that uh, he can add and subtract numbers up to 20 with a fair amount of accuracy. So that would be a good point to start algebra. All right, so uh, as always, uh, in addition and subtraction, uh, we started with a number story and we're going to do the same here for algebra. And I'm going to call this an addition algebra number story. And here's the, the little story that I made up. It goes like this. I collected seven baseball cards. Altogether, I and my brother Weston collected 10 baseball cards. How many baseball cards did Weston collect? And if your child uh, has a uh, uh, is, is solid in addition and subtraction. Uh, he or she'll look at this and say, hmm, this is a little different. Uh, this, this is, uh, I, I don't know what to make of this. So uh, as always, uh, we'll have to put this number story into a number sentence. And here's how I'm going to set it up. We're going to add something to something else, and then there's going to be a sum. And the convention I'm using is anywhere you see a line, these have to be filled in. So let's see, what do we know in this problem? Um, we know that uh, the two of you, uh, uh, I should say the two of us, me and my brother Weston, collected 10 baseball cards. So that's the total, right? That's the sum. And we know that that goes right here. So let's put it in. What other information do we have here? Uh, 
I collected seven baseball cards, we know that. So we know that's going to be one of the, uh, the numbers here we're adding together. So I'm going to put that right here. And that's really all the information we have. And we're going to look back at the problem and say, uh, and read that last sentence. And how many baseball cards did Weston collect? And that's what we're looking for, the missing number. And let's use our, our regular convention of a, a box here. So we're trying to find out uh, how many baseball cards did Weston collect. And of course, this is different from addition because we already know the sum. We're trying to find uh, a missing, uh, what we call the add-in. So uh, you can uh, model this and work your way through uh, writing, uh, writing out this uh, number story into a, a number sentence in number language, so to speak. And now we have something we can actually work with here. So. Uh, that's, that's what I call an addition number story. And I'm not going to, uh, we're not going to solve it together at this point. We'll get into that in the uh, next lesson. But uh, have your child read, read this so you know that she really understands uh, what you're doing here. And that would be 7 plus how many equals 10. We're trying to find the so-called missing number. Okay. So now let's try uh, what I call a subtraction number story. And I'm going to bring in some props for this one and probably a new sheet of paper too. Let's do that. Let's bring in the mystery box. Open it up. Let's get our bank over here. And here is... Uh, my number story. And uh, this is great because now we're, we're actually putting it into a, a, a concrete, some concrete objects. So perhaps your child could get a better idea of what's going on. And here is the algebra subtraction number story. There were eight pennies in the mystery box. And I'm just going to put those in. Of course, you will have your child do that and make sure she counts them out accurately. Uh, since we've already studied doing that, and I'm sure your child knows how to do it, I'm just going to get eight pennies in here. Okay. So there were eight pennies in the mystery box. Angelina took a few of them out of the box and left two in the box. So you can tell your child that you're going to be Angelina in the story and you're going to take out a few. And since uh, you're the teacher and the parent, you know already that the, this few is going to be six, but you don't want her to know that. That's the missing number. So you can go in and, and uh, however you can count them w without revealing your count to your child, uh, take out six pennies. I'm going to check to be sure. Yeah. And hide them. I'm going to put them in my uh, pocket here of my shirt. And uh, let's see, where were we in this number story? Uh, there are eight pennies in the mystery box. Angelina took a few of them out and left two in the box. And you can clearly see there are two uh, pennies in there. Uh, make sure your child sees those. And uh, then the final uh, part of this number story is how many did Angelina take out? Okay, uh, just like we did uh, previously, let's set up a, a number sentence for this. So it's something, and I can tell you ahead of time, it's a subtraction. Something minus something equals something. Okay, so what do we know? We knew that uh, we know that there were. We started with uh, eight pennies in the mystery box, and we call that the the uh, menu one. That's the largest number, and we know that in a subtraction problem, that goes right here. Okay, and we're going to take away something from it, and then we're going to get the difference here. Well. 
Uh, we know from reading the problem that uh, Angelina took a few of them pennies, a few of the pennies out of the box and left two in the box. And you might want to say two remained in the box. And we know that uh, this position in the equation over here is, uh, is called the remainder or the difference. So uh, you can, uh, and I didn't mention, you should have your child doing the writing here and kind of helping her along to construct this. So the two is going to go right over here. That's the remainder, what remains in the mystery box. And of course, uh, that makes this the missing number right there. And this represents how many did Angela take out? So at this point, uh, we didn't uh, answer the, the first, we didn't find the answer for the first one. So um, you could uh, just do this. Uh, take, take the six pennies out, put them in a line, have her count them and she could write in the answer in the box here and tell her in the next lesson I'll show you how to solve these uh, missing number problems so she can look forward to that. So of course uh, do several more of these. Uh, you can make, make up a few great number stories uh, until your child uh, seems to be pretty solid in this. And then in the next lesson, like I just said, we will uh, actually, uh, I will actually show you uh, how to teach your child how to solve these missing number problems.